Niggas that ain't cutting checks. All right, so uh, we are here on the premiere of the like, you know, we'll name this podcast later, aka J and J podcast. Y'all got my nigga J Hill in the building, uh -huh. and you know I'm your boy JS on the supplier, and I felt like yo, this is a, a monumental moment right here. Like, bro, like I'm 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 excited to get your opinions about some things that's going on in the world right now, bro. You know what I mean? You be cool. you be you be out here on your uh, you be out here on your celebrity shit. You don't say too much. Unless it's an interview, you know what I mean? You looking all stoic on your Instagram and shit, nigga, suited and booted, you know what I mean? That you ain't no celebrity shit, though. That's that celebrity shit, yo. That like, niggas no. be talking. Come on, everybody else on Instagram talking shit all day long. <laughs> you yeah. pretty much just move in silence, you know what I mean? That's that yeah. celebrity shit. I guess. I just think it's some, you know what I'm saying? Like, not mature, but, like, I be chilling, man. Because when you open your mouth, then you niggas got to judge you, then niggas... Bitching about what you're saying, they don't agree with it. That's facts. Be crying about nothing. That's facts. But that's what they supposed to do. Niggas cry all the time, especially when they not where you are. You know what I mean? So they always gonna have opinions, and it don't matter. You can not say nothing, and they'll have a problem with that. Still, right? Like, <laughs> you say, man, Jay Hill don't never say nothing, yo. That he don't got no opinions. He, is, yo, he really on top of the world. Hey. God, damn, hey man, alone. I've heard people say some some crazy stuff. Like people be like, "Yo, Jay Hill think he he everything in the world." I'm like, for real. <laughs> even if I did, it's like, God damn, like, can I not have confidence? Like, like, no, you can't. Shit. But when you don't, they mad because you don't have confidence. So it's like it don't matter what you do; it's always going to be an issue. Believe me, take it from me, niggas. They got all types of issues with. So, uh, like, all right, I've let people know ahead of time. Well, I didn't let anybody. You know, I was telling him. I said, Yo, you know, what I'm saying, you sure you want to do this podcast with me? Because niggas gonna hate you after this shit. They gonna be like, Damn, he fucking with Jay. This is some bullshit. So I gave him his warning ahead of time. Time. It is what it is. We about to get it in. So anyway, uh, what you been up to in the last week, bro? Any any anything worth talking about? Nah, nah Remy, I'm doing my same shit, bro. We working out here. Word. Just hosting, uh, radio. You know right. Um, I'm waiting on some calls and shit. Some big shit. Not big, but you know what I'm saying it's, it's, it's bigger than where I'm at, I guess. Word. It's moving up the ladder. Type shit. I'm liking that uh, YCMC radio thing you doing. Like, I I think it's really cool. To, who? It's a lot of work, man. Who do the mixes though? I do. Oh no. Nah, oh, um, yeah, I just get DJs. Oh, okay, just yeah, different DJs submit yeah, their stuff. Yeah, yeah. DJ oh, wow. Hollywood been definitely holding it down, man. Shout out to Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? We gotta come down Norma Jeans and and rock out with you or something. Cause I know that's what he do on the regular. Yeah, Shout yeah. out to the girls with the titties and the ass shaking their ass to, I ain't to DJ Hollywood. With Norma Jeans, I'm broke. And to, when I get some bread, I'ma fuck with you, Hollywood. Bro. When I come to Norma Jeans, I get paid. So oh, right. <laughs> like, normally I be doing promotions down there. I so I like, keep it a hundred with you. Like, I ain't throwing no money away. Nah, shit. nigga, especially. After seeing the, what they had like a twerk, they had a, it wasn't a twerk Olympics. It was like the, the twerk a bowl or the, the strip a bowl. Did you see that on Instagram? No, I didn't see that. Bro, quality control. They said they threw a $3 million oh, yeah, up yeah, in yeah. the club. And they, and they like split it like 25 ways. Hell like yeah, that. I broke it down. That's like 120 players yeah. now. It's a person. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm one of them poor niggas that was doing the math. Yeah, I did the math. <laughs> nigga, the fuck? I, I probably still got that shit in my calculator. I'm like, Hey, check this out. I just left the stripper bowl, QC, and I just seen a nigga throw. I just seen QCP. That nigga P threw $200,000, nigga. But I ain't counting what his artist do, but I seen one nigga throw a $200,000. I was right there. Real talk, man. Fuck me up. I ain't never seen no shit. I missed that. I I, I might have missed that me shit, but I ain't missed this shit. I seen a half a million dollars through in the club, man, and one dollar bill. Man. Real talk, man. I ain't gonna lie, dog. They gave me about ten, ten, fifteen thousand dollars though. Real talk, nigga, get money, man. Real talk. Motivation, though, man. Real talk. 
<laughs> Three mil, 25 ways. That's like 120. All right, Jay, let me ask you a question. How honorable are you? Like, yo, uh, are you thinking like I'm thinking? Because if I was in that club, I'd have been stuffing a few dollars. I'm sorry. Y'all could get mad. You can call me whatever you want to call me. I'd have been, ah! I ain't gonna lie. Because <laughs> ah! it was everywhere. It was on the seats, on the floors. It was on the handrails. It, depends, it was everywhere. If it was some 20s, maybe. But like, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like I'm too, not even honorable. I'm just, I just had too much mm, pride. Fuck pick. that. I have zero pride. Nah, Waffle House is twenty dollars, my nigga. Like we nah, coming nah, up nah. out of there and man, we if going it was to one. Like it was twenties, I probably been picking them up. <laughs> I don't but. care if it was ones, bro. I can give a waffle. Like a handful of one. Handful nah, of ones is Waffle ain't, House ain't, money. That's Waffle ain't House money. Dignity, but a handful of twenties. <laughs> I ain't never gonna see you niggas again. <laughs> Fuck you niggas. Like, we out. You know what I'm saying? Yo, like, Mr. Honorable. That's that what's up. Hey, man. L- letting y'all know now. You throw three million up in the club when I'm in there, I'm coming out there with at least a hundred. Like, come, I'm, I'm, I don't care. Like, yo. Right, nah, and I don't care if I'm a millionaire. I'm still, there's still something in me that's like, I can't just see throwing away all of this money. Nah, but. you're right. You're right. <laughs> I mean, but you probably, they probably ain't know it's three million. They just seen mad money. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just, Mad money on the floor like, Facts shit. And like who got enough pride To just be like Yeah we did our thing Because it, it, it really was a look on, on these dudes faces That really was like Like they built a school Or something like Yeah we just did all of this Boxes and boxes and of I money And I know that was some QC shit Yeah Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the only reason why I, found, I knew it was that Is that Boosie posted a video And he was like He was like Almost traumatized Like yo I was in the club And they threw Three million dollars. He was like, I seen Q come with boxes and boxes. He said Q gave me about thirty, forty thousand dollars. I'm like, they probably already had it set. <laughs> Yo, but speaking of QC, how the fuck that um did this Offset and Chris Brown shit happen? I seen it. I'm okay, like, that's that's a real easy question. All right, so they, you know how everybody was making fun of Twenty One Savage, right? Well, Chris Brown just replied to a joke, you know, kind of like laughing at it uh-huh. on Twitter. And Offset jumped out and said, look, bro, like, don't make fun of, you know, 21 Savage is a serious situation. This is not something that we should joke about right now. Mm -hmm. And then Chris Brown went, just went, lost it. Like, bitch, get the fuck out of my mentions. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? You a bitch ass nigga. You know, he just went, he went, he went way far and it wasn't necessary because the only thing Offset was trying to say is like, look, yo, he one of ours, like, let's chill. And Chris Brown was like, yo, don't tell me what to say, you know, fuck you. And then that's when the whole thing kicked off. I seen, was did somebody like make a GoFundMe for this nigga Twenty One Savage? They tried, but then they then the management team shut it down. Yeah, like I'm not paying. Like Twenty One Savage is a millionaire. I got one, two, three. <laughs> like, you better use some of the millions to get your ass out of the situation. So like now, the, the most impressive thing I've seen is Jay Z hired the best lawyer in that field of uh, was an immigration right. lawyer uh-huh. and put him on the task of getting um, Twenty One Savage Jay-Z out. So. Is like- Hip hop father now. I was like, I was just about to say that. Yo, he, he's rap dad. He's like, rap dad. Go get that the, boy. He's, he's really a goat though. He really like doing different Facts. shit. Man. Like, I, Facts. Facts. Like, uh, a whole different example. Cause when we was coming up, LL Cool J didn't give a fuck about <laughs> <laughs> no new niggas coming up. Yo, it was like, yo, it, it, it was really different. When I was like 21, 22 or whatever, hip hop was all about get yours. Right. And and seeing if you could survive longer than your third album. That was the biggest thing. Could you get past your third album? Right. Now it's like you got these OGs. Who are really about setting that example, and it, it makes me save the game type. Yeah, shit. of course. No, they really trying to save the kids, bro. Nah, like, nah you're right. Yeah, 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 you can't even matter at that type shit. And like, like, and and it's selfish, but it's also good at the same time because it's selfish because if we maintain this game, they're going to continue to get money. Right. But if we let y'all young niggas destroy everything, we're not going to have nothing to make our money off of, and it makes us look like fools. Like that, everything that we came and believed in. You know what I'm saying? It's just getting thrown how away. You think, how you think uh, hip hop is? You talking about the young niggas? You think? Do they think? You think they really destroying the game right now, or like um, the state of the culture? It's the state of the culture. Like 20, 30, 30, 30 and under. I, I hate the terms. I, I hate the state of the culture thing. I mean, I love the show. I just I hate it when people say the state of the culture. No, I, all right, all right. Let's just say any young person that's uneducated will have a tendency to 
do things that could be detrimental to what they're trying to build. So, like, right. yes, they're a bunch of great young artists, but they're making the same mistakes that we were making when we was coming up with the drugs. Or, you know, everybody don't know. Excessive drug usage. I mean, yeah, I feel, of course. I feel like everything in the music game. Now. Right, of course. And I also feel like now you do have people that care. Right. So, like, think about rock and roll. The reason why, the reason why rock and roll crashed and burned as hard as it is is that they didn't have those older people to be like, yo, all right, uh, it's no problem doing some perks, but you only need six of them. Like, you know, maybe one. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> yes, we are all self-destructive when we're young. Even when we're trying to do something positive, there could be a tendency to, to just go off to the left or the right. But I would say what makes it better this time is that you've got those older people that have stayed in the game to say, yo, you don't have to sign a deal and get all your money taken. Like, yo, you can do this independent. Right. Or, hey, let me show you how to get this money outside of the contract. Go over here, do this, go over, do that. So, like, yeah. So, even though now you got young people that could be doing a bunch of crazy stuff, they still generating 10 times the amount of money they was doing 20 years ago. Right. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's necessary. And if we didn't have that, think about where we would be as a culture. You wouldn't have so many people in control of their futures out here with big, gigantic, you know, huge gold chains and chains Maseratis. Chains and out of, out of control, man. The chains is getting crazy. Niggas is getting money or... I was thinking about with you because I don't never remember seeing you wear no jewelry. Like, I don't I have s- a jewelry, yo. My shit just don't be big like that because I don't got the money. <laughs> the fuck? Like, nigga... <laughs> Damn, you my shit be that small that you don't see this shit when you see me. God so damn. the question comes down to is Jay Hill a jewelry hand? Would yeah, you be yeah, nigga. The, now yeah. you went with the choker necklace, yo. I think I that shit is too too tight. I don't feel nah, like a man, man shouldn't have no choker. I'm like. with all the shits. I need all the designer clothes. I need all the jewelry. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had none of that shit. So I'm, I'm yeah, I'm nigga, I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm shallow, nigga. What the fuck? I need all that shit. I ain't had shit when I was I need all of it. But so speaking of the young culture, right? Like, dude, let's bring it to the city. I guess like the Devo and uh, pre- uh, uh, oh, Devo and, and D-Day, right, right, right. Is, do you think that was like pro culture or like no culture type shit? Like, nah, that was just beef. So you don't think I, them I niggas think was, just beefing? You don't think it was pro culture? I don't think it was. If it was pro culture, they wouldn't be going at each other as hard as they going at each other. I don't think it was beef because, like, I was telling this somebody else because I'm gonna be real. A lot of times. Even with the media personalities, they don't speak on the shit that's going on in the city because it's Baltimore and this shit is real. Like, you Facts. know what I'm saying? Like, so they can ain't about to speak on. I uh, really sat down when I was putting the rundown together and was like, there's like four different beefs going on right now. And I'm like, I don't know if it's cool to talk about because I don't need no run, nigga running up on me. Right, like, you know like, what I'm saying? This ain't, this ain't like the industry that we see on TV. This is real life. So, like, when niggas beefing, it's Baltimore. Niggas, they right. know where you at. Niggas right. pull up, you know what I'm saying? Yep. So that's why I say I don't think it's beef. And and then, like, both of them. I, well, I haven't spoken to uh, Davo, but uh, when I spoke to D-Dave, people like, man, it's just rap. You know what I'm saying? So, I, mm. so I'm like, I think it's pro culture. And the fact that Davo even responded just being 100 with you, I thought it was dope. Like... Now <laughs> I, t- I was telling my boy on the phone. I said Dave shouldn't say shit. He shouldn't. He why? I said why he would you no do point. that? Like right, bro, you right, got right, ninety thousand right. followers. You know what I'm saying? Like you got ninety thousand. There's no way. But the fact that he responded, I'm like, that's dope. Like I ain't gonna lie. If it was me, I fuck around wouldn't. Have re- it's a nigga that host in DC that fucking said something. This is my first time you speaking on it. He said something about me. Posted a picture. I ain't respond to that shit. So I was like, if I had money, I'm not sp- responding. Like, what? Who is this? <laughs> but the fact that he responded shows that he got confidence in his skills. Word. One. And two, that he's like, just fuck. I don't give a fuck. So that's Facts. why I fuck, I fuck with it. Yo, but at the end of the day, let me tell you something. I really feel like... They, all right, all right. There was a need for both to respond. Because Davo... I don't remember <laughs> Davo ever being in a battle before. So like... Davo been doing this shit since battling. What, bro? He was battling on fucking one of us in the park, bro. Davo, not oh, D Dave. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Dave, not, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. He, and that's uh, another part, problem with this beef. Y'all no, names no, no. is too similar. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right, you're right. <laughs> one of y'all gotta change y'all names so we can. Get... My bad, my bad. <laughs> but yeah, Davo. I, yeah, I don't think. First of all, I don't think he's like a rap beef type or rap battle type rapper. And but like, I really think Davo's lyrical and I feel like nice people, y'all heard mad people be like, yo, Davo just a singing nigga and I'm like, yo, Davo got lyrics, nigga. Yeah, like, I don't know. How the fuck niggas and he be his, his songs got he got a point Meaning, to his songs. Yeah, yeah, right? He yeah, got yeah. a lot of, he's got a lot of uh, depth in it's his funny, content. It's like, I had t- I wanted to get an interview with both of them sitting down and like he had comments some shit on his comment. I'm like, Bro, what? He like stay on that side. I'm like, nigga, I'm on this side, nigga. I'm on, <laughs> I'm on the side of hip hop, nigga. Like you have right. no idea. I, I was just having a conversation with the nigga uh, Omar and, mm-hmm. um, and, and Sangria. It might be a different name, but yeah, Sangria, whatever. Mm-hmm. He was like, who I think got it? Like, 
all around. And I, Debo was one of the niggas I named. So I go on. So when I go to ask for the interview, like, man, stay on on, on that side. Like you, uh, basically trying to instigate the shit. And I'm like, bro, like what? Like nigga, I fuck with your music, it's exactly. Like, but it's it's crazy to see how like just perspective, right? Because mm-hmm. like you never know what a nigga. Saying behind your back, you know what I'm right. saying? And it's like, you got a nigga that's really talking good about you, and you right. thinking it because it looks so, this way. So it's like, but I get it, bro. Like, when, especially when you're in the heat of the moment. Well, All right, this is where I'm, a, and this is what, one of the reasons why I couldn't wait for us to do this. Right. Is that, like, I, I'm gonna make some admissions that probably I shouldn't say, but I'm gonna say, like, when I was talking to my homeboy, like, first of all, let me clarify. I know both these niggas really well. Like, I remember Davo before he got on Keenan. He was on VVC Radio years and years ago. I've known him for a long time. Same thing with D-Dave. I've known D-Dave forever. The reason why I felt like it was dangerous for Davo is Davo don't have that many relationships. He has a tendency to do what he did to you. They, the whole Keenan system, they separate themselves from a lot of people. Yeah. And the only time they show up is if, if the look is right. Mm-hmm. Yo, all right, there's a look for us. Let's come out and show you how to look, and then we going we going to drop out. If it's not a look for them, they ain't even interested. Now, I'm not mad at that because that's business. You right. want to always present yourself in the best light possible. The only downside to that is is when the beef come, you don't have nobody to fall back on. You don't have no coalition that could back you up. There's I was waiting for four or five people to jump out and be like, "Yo, Davo, that nigga, he going to kill it." And there was nothing. You know what I mean? But D-Day, there were a lot of people that just came out and was just like, oh, yo, so you I, say a lot of people for like support. industry support? Yeah, industry support. There were a lot of niggas that was talking about it, but it was like fans. You yeah, know, exactly. So, fan, right, we're not talking about fans. Okay. We're talking about like industry, okay. people that have built up platforms or people that have a voice that would just be like, yo, that's my man. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yo, don't mess with D-Day. Right. Like, so that's, <laughs> so, that's, that's what I... um. But I think Keenan had said that uh, not to respond. I think I seen it in his story. He was like, don't respond or whatever. And I feel like that was the right choice. Like, don't respond is, is not saying it's below you, but bro, when you on that type of platform. How are you going to say not to respond and that this record come out? <laughs> right, right. So, like, <laughs> nigga, that's responding. <laughs> right, now, nah, nah, it was before he made the diss. Oh, like, okay. Yeah, it was All before. Right. So, but uh, what I will say is the one thing that I don't say I didn't like, but it's like, I don't know. Maybe because I'm, I just like, Integrating into like the hip hop culture and this music culture period, so it's like, but from day one I already knew D Dave was talented, and I've been mm-hmm. saying D Dave, the Lonnie Moore is the mm-hmm. motherfucking Mike Evans. I've been saying this. Mm-hmm. I come to guys mm-hmm. dice, so it's like I've been saying it publicly. But then it take for niggas to be beefing for other people to say it publicly. I'm like, yo, like, like I don't know. I don't want to say they. Just hopping on a wave, but it's like, why y'all ain't been speaking up for the nigga? Like, it, don't, it shouldn't have to be a beat, but I guess when a beat happened, yeah, I'm about to say when a beat happened, it, it brings it to the light. You know what I'm right. saying? So now I can speak on it because it, it's, it's in my face. Oh, nah, yeah, then I can speak on it. Right. So, like, I get it. All right, so, like, I say it like this there's two things that every artist needs to have visibility and viability. Mm-hmm. Viability meaning that, why am I fucking with you? Why, what makes you important? Right. So I can see you, but if there's no if there's nothing important, then I'm not gonna pay attention. I.e., let's take two chains before he was two chains, he was Titty Boy. Right. He was visible. You saw him with yo, you saw this nigga with Ludacris in movies, hustling flow. He was in the hustling flow movie. He was in the music videos. He was an and on all of the albums. He kind of co-executive produced a lot of stuff. He was in everything, but he wasn't viable because he hadn't found himself. He hadn't developed an image that people would be attracted to. He hadn't he hadn't come into itself. Right. You know what I'm saying? Until he, he generated viability, the visibility was nothing. You need both. And D-Dave is the same thing. We've seen D-Dave in every freestyle scenario that y'all have created between Flo and you and other people, even VVC. He's been on. Flo killed it all the time. But he hadn't created viability. Why, why should we follow you? Why should we be down with what you're doing? What is your movement about? He's never created that. So it would be like people will see it. People will notice it, rock with you for a couple of weeks. Y'all know how it be. Nigga follow you for a week and then unfollow you because now you just boring. Right. Like, or they don't have you haven't built something. That's the reason why I tell niggas you gotta build a movement. Right. Build something for people to believe in. I'm following you because I'm believing in something that you're putting out. But if you're believing is nothing but making a couple of hot rhymes, like that's not enough viability. That's why you know a lot of underground dudes stay underground because it's like I can get bars from anywhere, literally. Right. I trip over 18 years yeah, with I mean, bars. I feel like I, uh, I compare it to, uh, the, it's always like the famous versus the, the, the popular versus the unpopular. Mm. Like, Jadakiss and, I don't know, uh, who was a, a rapper now? I can be anybody. Famous Dex? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody know Jadakiss is nice. Like, everybody right. know 
Styles beat Jada Kiss nice when it comes to lyrics. We ain't got to question that. Fair. However, they not going to be in everybody's top five. They not going to be in everybody's conversation when we talking about hip hop. Just forget about them type shit. Right. So it's like, I mean, I get it. I mean, like, uh, yeah. I, I, you know what? The thing is though, I feel like Jada Kiss enjoys that space that he's in. Right. I don't think he ever really wanted to be that. So big that he can't walk down the street, right? Or so big that he lives in this insulated bubble, and some people choose that, you know what I mean? So, wait, um, what are we even talking about? Who had the better diss, nigga? Like, we ain't even come on, bro. All right, all right now, if we talking know, about bar for, if we talking about bar for bar, D Dave got it, okay? All right, if we're talking know. about connection, like I said, viability, it's gonna be Dave, oh, nah, yo, I'm even, sorry, I, I, even look at it like I can't that. remember one bar D Dave said, but I can remember this nigga Dave o talking about how nigga sent you to the store to get blunt ropes and all that. I was like, oh. I shit. mean, everybody said when when, they, when D Day dropped the shit, everybody said the only bar they remember is man, Kenny, you's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Facts, but you can't deny that the bars was crazy. Like when yeah. you listen to I it, mean, you go, "Oh yeah, honestly, that shit hard." So I, I definitely would say D Day had it because it seemed like it was it was more of a like beef type of song. It was it was aggressive, and mm -hmm. they both seemed like it was just like not friendly, but it was like you know what I'm saying. It was it, it was a song. You know what I'm saying? I like the flow. I like the switch. That shit was hard. It's just, it wasn't really disrespectful. Like, yeah, he told me he went to, he lived in the basement, he wanted to go get the, the bus or whatever, but it wasn't like, you know what I'm saying? Like, gritty. But even, I ain't gonna lie, when, when, um, when DJ first dropped, I personally thought he could have came harder, honestly. Uh, I just feel like Dave made it I'm easy. not saying that he couldn't have. Yeah, I feel like his skill level could have been. I think both of them could have put. I, I can both of them could have put better foot when forward. Day, when D-Day dropped, I'm like, ah, why would you do that? You just made it easy for him. Honestly, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it running. Like, be, I, be I agree. Because I didn't heard the nigga rap. Like, the nigga was on my show. He's on like, nigga be wilding. You know what I'm right. saying? So when I heard him, like, I think D-Day cool. was just rushing. To be the yeah, first one to put yeah. something out, but then when Davo dropped, I'm like, bro, you ain't, yo, he gave you a layup and you missed it. Like, I, like honestly, like that's how I felt. I still personally. feel like Davo won, but I also you feel, feel like, like Davo won. I feel like Davo won. I just out of that, just out of that one, only because I, I don't know what you talking about. It was disrespectful, like nigga, yo, Davo talking about the nigga numbers. I, I mean, he, told, like, I feel like times. Davo put the facts out there. D Dave put the hip hop out there. You know what I mean? And like that's how that's how we ended up. But what in the fact one? So somebody else said, said facts like. Bro, I'm sorry. When you talk about, maybe, I don't know, I look at it differently. When you talk about living in a nigga basement, bro, it ain't like, if Flo and Kenny was like, you know what I'm saying, like, they had this bread and shit, and then they just took nigga under their wing, but they was all roommates. Like, Fact. so they paying rent together. But we don't know that. See, you don't know the details. I don't know the details. But we don't know the details. Nigga, you just said they no, was roommates. I'm just saying, like, that's what I'm thinking. Like, <laughs> it, 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 like see, but that way I'm thinking about it, it it's like they took it a straight dog. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's how they played it. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. It could have been like that but, shit. I was just assuming they like, was roommates. Like, D-Day was a nigga like, yo, I rap, yo. Can I, can I stay? <laughs> can, can I chill? Yo, let a nigga chill. Chill, yo. Wow. But I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, that we going. Been a case, I don't know. I don't think so. If we know. just talking, let me let me kind of for the camera, yo. If we talking about bars, D Dave killed. That's what we, that's what rap is. Is bars. No, so that's why D Dave. But won. battle the battle does not con just consist of bars. It's about presentation. It's about what you saying. It's about how you saying it. It's everything put together. All right. Cause if we was really talking about that, cannabis would have always won over LL Cool J. I ain't trying to hear what nobody say because cannabis bars is way harder right. than with LL. But LL, he won the That's whole fair. thing. That's fair. So that, I want to see how, like, where your mind at. I need a round two, my fuckers. I need. Nah, we I need, don't need a round two. We do need a round no, two. Not, not no right. gunplay, but I need a round we two. We don't need no round two. I don't. Know, I just think it was clear. Like, I'm sorry. I think it was clear. <laughs> Here we go. Who you think won out of Tory Lanez and Don Q? Fucking Tory, nigga. Uh, I'm just making sure, bro. I'm you making, wild. I'm just First of all, sure. I'm just making sure. Tory Lane versus everybody is Tory Lane killing it. Uh, live from the DM, I'm hollering at your BM. We discussing which color casket you about to leave in. I did this shit for no reason. I'm letting rookies battle. But how did I get in this battle with a boogie shadow? Big Apple, New York City, more than pity. How can I beef with a dude only popping in four cities? I made fours with ditties and sat top floors with fifties and now I'm fully open. I played a bully on them call for your squad, your rest. He is I mean, killing everybody. And when he beat Joyner, when he beat Joyner Lucas, it sealed it for me. I and like, and like for real, join a fucking kill, but yeah, Lucas is but nice as shit, super nice. But like Tory got finesse with it. He did. He, he did got finesse with it. Like, uh, I think I think Cole need to give my nigga a shot, bro. I feel like he. 
Bro, give my nigga a shot, man. Lyrically, why I don't not? feel like I don't because I don't feel like I don't feel like J Cole want that embarrassment if an R and B nigga spank his ass. And I feel like that's the worst part. Everybody keep trying to discount but Tory because he can sing. It's like no, yo, that nigga got bars. Well, let's period. not get it fucked up. He's not gonna get embarrassed though. He's not gonna get embarrassed either way. Like like Jordan Lucas, right? He. Johnny Lucas lost, but he ain't getting embarrassed. I no, 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 no. It wasn't, because it wasn't he had bars. So, like, I don't think J. Cole is, about to get embarrassed. But we don't really have an opinion about Johnny Lucas. Right. You know what I mean? Like, he ain't developed. He ain't J. Cole. J. Cole is yeah, on a... Yeah, 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 yeah. And nah. if J. Cole slipped... That's a fact. It's a problem. But I don't think... <laughs> I don't think... He still wouldn't get embarrassed because J. Cole nice. Like, let's, let's not get it fucked up. I don't like. know, yo, because J. Cole really been handling his own. Like, I mean, I mean, I want to hear J. Cole do a beef, period. I want to back right. and forth. Uh, that was kind of supposed to be a Wale thing with him. Remember, like, back in the day, but it when really it wasn't nothing. Um, uh, uh, the other dude, too, Kendrick, or no? Like, cause was it? Because Kendrick dropped the... Uh, the control shit? Yeah. And then J. Cole kind of responded. I, I but so. it was a kind of response. It wasn't a full-on, yeah, 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 yeah. you know what I mean? It ain't a beef unless you say a nigga name. I thought we've been established that. Like, we've been established that. Like, that hey, that's a fact. Like, and I feel like everybody's scared of Kendrick Smoke, period. But I'm not. I'm just throwing that out there just being dickhead. I ain't gonna lie. I'm still with the... I want Tory. I think my nigga Tory deserves a shot with everybody. <laughs> yeah, anybody. I think he deserves... I feel like y'all need to give that nigga his fucking respect. Yeah. Fucking respect. Kendrick, man. Drop a diss for Tory, bro. Let's Fuck go. It. Drop a diss on Let's Tory. Let's go. Because I, I, like, I, th- I think... Young nigga handling himself, man. He handling himself. And like what people be saying, yo, I hate it when people. I've been a Tory Lanez fan for years, bro. Like before he got signed, when he was doing mixtapes on his own, before the chicks tapes joints, he been had bars, yo. He been really good at creating atmosphere and creating that that vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like he was destined to be, and like now that he in the space that he in, and he just going hard for it. Mm-hmm. It just makes me respect him even more. Like that's what I be saying, like. Make me proud as a fan. Make me feel like I need to be a fan. Like, yo, Tori is fighting. Tori versus everybody. Fuck it. Right. Tori Tory already the got world. the money. Let's get it right. He got the plaques. He got the sales. He got the money. He got the cars. He got the tours. He been selling out tours. So he don't really need to do this. But guess what? He doing it because he want respect. Right. No, I fuck Period. It. And he's not going to say, he's not going to back down off of it. And that's what I respect about him. That makes me. Uh, anyway, anyway. I fuck with the guy, man. I fuck with the guy. We talked earlier about. How we pro- how we present stuff as media people, right. like how we present information. Mm-hmm. Now I put this on a docket because it's been a real conversation. Uh, me and Omar had some conversations. Stokey, some other people. Like, yo, is Baltimore media fake? Like the independent niggas, are, are we really fake because we don't want to get into shit? Or are That's we a just great fucking question, bro? Are like, we being fake? Or I mean, like it ain't. I'm not gonna lie, it ain't really fake. More so it being safe You know what I'm saying Like I said This ain't Nick, So when niggas get a little bit money You know what I'm saying Academic or whatever Like he can pop his shit all the time But honestly The nigga ain't Accessible every day Right You know what I'm saying So he can pop his shit And nigga won't You know what I'm saying they, Nigga probably can't touch him Even like Charlamagne Like he got into a couple shits When nigga came up to the radio station But It's just different But I, I do believe that If it's media It's supposed to be media So right. I, I, I am on like I don't know because it's like part of me is like, bro, if it's media, you're supposed to talk about everything that's going on right. in the media, right? But we don't because of, I don't know if it's that being afraid of, it's just being smart. I don't know. And, and I'll tell you like this. There's certain stuff that I don't talk about because I really feel like I don't want to continue to push a narrative of negativity. Right. Uh-huh. So like in Baltimore, an artist got his chain snatched recently. And then that caused a whole chain reaction of just mad stuff going yeah, on. I spoke about that. And um, at the end of the day, I'm I'm less concerned about the nigga that got his chain snatched or the person that snatched it. And I was more concerned with man. I'm I'm looking down the timeline and I'm seeing all of this all of this conversation about the and like Baltimore dudes, we get so amped up when we see something happen, and it's just like, bro, this is gonna spiral out of control. If somebody decided they wanted to really see something happen. Right. You know what I mean? And I was like, so how do we so my, report on the reality of what's going on without turning it into some... So my take, honestly, bro, I just being honest, like when I'm talking in front of the camera or in the mic, I try to give my honest opinion. But I do have... And like, it ain't the not my, it ain't the best or like, I ain't know these guys for a long time, but I do have a, some type of relationship with most of the guys. Like, even right. with... Pace with the Mafia, I'm going to say their name, and um, I forgot the group, but uh, the niggas that did the whatever, my thing is, 
I really care. And like, I'm gonna keep it 100. Like, I really want Baltimore to get on. Right. So, I'm trying to push everybody. So, when I see shit like that, I'm like, yo, bro, I understand it's a uh, disagreement, but how can we really come together? Like, right. and it might sound cliche, but I really mean that from Fact. the heart. So, like, I can speak on it, and it's like, I can give my opinion, but it's like, at the end of the day, because I, I am, I'm not pushing a narrative of more negativity. I can speak on it, then I'm I, I reel it back in like, yo, all right, mm -hmm. that happened. How can we like get past this? You know what I'm saying? So like you mentioned that that wasn't even the one I was talking that about. That wasn't. I'm talking about even... in the last two three weeks. Oh, talking about um test test oh, and yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean yeah, like, like, like and that right like even with that I ain't get a chance to talk to Tato but like. Bro, like they was fam and I, as I right, I, they were doing I, records together. Yeah, I want to do, an, like, do an interview with Tato because it's like, yo, bro, like, bro, it's just so like, man, these artists don't understand that like these kids is really looking up to these niggas. Bro. That's a like, fact. Like, like you know what I'm saying, it's like, bro, that's a fact. And like when you do things like that, kids think, all right, well, if I if I get in a beef, it's easy to do things like that. Mm -hmm. Like, and I know it sounds cliche and it might sound bullshit, but this is really what I mean from my heart. So it's like. I don't give a fuck what niggas look at me like he just bullshit and whatever. I know how I am, you know what I'm saying? So I really be wanting to rap to niggas just be like, yo, how can we? Like, I wanted to talk to D Dave and Dave were like, just to show niggas up. It ain't no beef. We we really, it's rap and it's good, you know what I'm saying? Because that, that shows niggas coming up like, oh shit, like they still talk, like, then I can do the same mm -hmm. thing. But once you do the opposite thing, niggas coming up like, nah, well, I'm going to be, they they creating a the narrative of being a bitch or what you supposed to do, you know what I'm saying? So, like, just to get back on topic, like, Tato and Tess, man, I just, Man, I can talk on it because this is me, and maybe some some will say I don't have the right to talk on it. I'm just saying my opinion, how I feel. Mm -hmm. I feel right to talk on it because I know I'm not pushing no negative narrative. Like, right. I don't speak on what happened. It was a fight, da da da, and I'll give my opinion. But because my opinion is like, yo, I want to get these niggas back. Like that was family. Right. Like all these other rap niggas. Like the one I can really say was family, bro. Was when I met Tess. Tess was like, man, I don't even want to be on, bro. If you can get Tato on a concert, bro, I and I'm like, what, nigga? Just because of that, I'm going to get you on, too. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I want both of y'all on a concert because, like, I know how I am with my friends. And when I see that, I got respect for it. I feel right. like everybody should. So I was like, man, that's respect. I don't know what happened. You know what I'm saying? And and I'm pretty sure they both had reason. You know what I'm saying? Right. But, like, I don't know, dog. That's, why, that, that's just my opinion. That's why I feel like I can speak on it. Taking the, everything what you just said, because I think that's so important and perfect what you just said, is that there are people that, gen, uh, that are around these guys that have love for both of them. Why was there <coughs> not more people reaching out? And I'm not asking you to answer yeah, the question, know. but my thing is, why isn't there more people going, yo, killer's noise, like, y'all homies, for real. Let's get these niggas in the room. Let's squash the issue. And it's like, that's where I feel like... I want to be real. I do want to talk about everything. But, number one, I know these artists are sensitive. So, the moment I say their name, it's going to mm -hmm. be, oh, hey, why the fuck, fuck you, that my nigga. name in your mouth. Like, yeah, da, da, yeah. Da, da. That's number one. And then the number two thing is, like, people not listening to what's at, you yep. know. And then, like, now they hear a nigga name and they be like, they ready to go and they ain't really right. listening to the message. Exactly. I get it. No, I get it. I get exactly. It. And then, like, I'm significantly older, so I can... I cannot be emotionally invested and have a conversation about it. Whereas some of these younger platforms, I see them, they were like, they were just putting gas on it. Oh, is he a bitch now? Oh, how are you going to get your chain back? And then one of Tato's people come out and he throwing gas on it. And I'm like, bro, this is not the time to put gas. Now, a report on it, but we ain't got to gas it. Right. You like, know what I mean? From my experience, though, bro, I ain't going to lie. Like, even with like just a couple of these type of artists, like the street artists, a lot of, because I deal with a lot of their older dudes that be trying to get them on my platform or whatever. The older niggas, they, I just show respect. Like, they really, I, I, it's no doubt in my mind that the older niggas not trying to get them together. You know what I'm saying? Like, just the guys that I met, like the, the, the mixed savages, uh, who else? Mm. Um, the, just all the, even like the moose, like, because I'm talking to like their older, yeah, I don't know, his management or whatever, right. but they just reaching out to me. And, they sound like OGs. Like when I talk to them, it's all like man shit. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's respect. It ain't no. You know what I'm saying? So it's no doubt in my mind that the older dudes that's around them guys are trying to get them together. But at, at the same time, you gotta understand that I don't know how old Tess is, but I think Tess is in one his of late twenties. He's late twenties. Hell yeah, that's crazy. But Tess been putting it down for. But that's the thing. So that's what I say. Tess is 
even though he's young, he's become one of those older dudes, one right. of those OGs. Because so it's like when when you in that position, position even Tato, like you've been putting in work for a minute, it's like it's nothing another nigga can tell you. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Even period, even if you're not in no position, you're a man. It's nothing nobody else can tell you. I remember Lil Nay, he said something a while ago, and it made so much sense. He's like, when a nigga hungry, he don't got shit. Ain't shit you could tell him. Mm. And when a nigga up and he got everything in the world, ain't shit you could tell him. him. So at the end of the day, ain't shit you could tell him. No man, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like, so it's like, I get it, bro. But I, I think. But the, you gotta try though. Yeah, you yeah. Can. I think I think the older niggas are, um are, are talking to him. But it's like when it's fuel to the when it's like hot. Sometimes you gotta let it right. and let them handle Agreed. themselves. I think. Agreed. I, I think they going hopefully just I, I hope they get back together. And, you know what I'm saying? Just chop it out. And shit, if you got to, shit, get the boxing gloves. Nigga, right. we, I tell niggas, man, it's niggas that tell me shit that I don't like about me. I'm like, we men, we supposed to be able to discuss it. If Here I do go. something. J Hill ready to knock a nigga out. Nah, nah, God, nah, hey, not even that. Let's get them gloves, hey, boy. It's, nah, it's funny because like, I really don't be on the fighting shit. Like, right. I, like, I only do that when I feel like I'm disrespected. But I feel like, as men, bro, if you don't like something I did, you, you should be able to come to me and I shouldn't be able to take it personal and I should be able to hear what the issue. Like, if you say, yo, Jay, like, I ain't like how you said my name, it's the approach, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If I see you coming at me just saying it was wrong, cool, I apologize. My bad, bro. I, I ain't mean it like that. I can tell you what I meant about it. But some niggas just approach just to be like, just all fucked up, like, nigga, don't be saying my motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? You could tell me what I did wrong without being on some disrespectful right, shit, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. And, and then I'll deal with it, like, you know what, my bad, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's why, like, even with Shorty Shorty and um, a uh, perp, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with those guys because even eliminate everything that happened, I fuck with them genuinely because when I had, when they did my freestyle on Detail Already Radio the first time, I remember I posted D, the nigga that was dancing, the money man that actually, like, made it pop, whatever. Mm-hmm. I posted him saying about Peace of the Mafia. I didn't know that it was a group. But I think perp had hit me in the DM, like, nigga, you know it's fucking three months, da 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 da. And I'm like, I ain't no shit. Like, I ain't saying I'm like, but nigga, I'm promoting the, the song. Nigga, right. like, the fuck? Why would you come at me sideways? Make a long story short. When I seen him at DTLR, I brought it up. And it was no static. It was like, nah, bro, I was just, you know what I'm saying? And and we cleared the air. And right. I and the fact that we could have did that without him getting emotional, him like, man, fuck. Like you know what I'm saying, it was like respect. I respect that so much more. And I that's why I got love for them dudes beyond his world. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I fuck that's with him. You can talk that's to big. a man. And like you could tell me what I did wrong. Right. I could tell you what how I felt. You know what I'm saying? We, right. I feel like Peso has so much. I feel like we, not we, but I feel like Baltimore has prejudged them young dudes because, because of, of some happened? because of some bad decisions. And at the end of the day, without even and I feel like a lot of people feel like they got a leg up because of their associations. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, at the end of the day, they still work hard. They mm-hmm. still created some great music. And they still good dudes at the end of the day. Like, yo, for real, for real. And I feel like if Baltimore could stop being so hard-headed, like, we'd be so That's hard on bro. everybody coming up. That's us, though, bro. <laughs> we'd be you so hard. To, you ain't about to skate through it. You nah, know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's, that's the city. Like, that is it's like you gotta, you gotta that's love it, fact. though. It's like, bro, if we could just put it toward, like, just... Togetherness, bro. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But that's the thing. It's like you got you gotta love it. It's like Baltimore ain't, bro. If you fake, niggas gonna know and niggas gonna call you out and it is what it is. Ain't no getting around it. Period. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't matter who you is. That's you, a fact. The highest nigga, the popular nigga, ain't no way around it. That, you know is, a like, that is a motherfucking that is a motherfucking fact. Niggas gonna call you out, like, nigga, you's a bitch, nigga. You ain't the shit you talking about ain't real, nigga. You fake and I got the receipt to show it. You know Man. Right? Like, so I gotta change the subject now. Like, like let's get a little palate cleanser going on before we get up out of here. Wait I a minute, how much time we got left? Cause I wanna make sure that you appreciate you it. ain't over over time and shit. Alright, cool. Alright, um, so we're gonna do this off air. Well, we can do this on air or off air, however you wanna do it. Like I wanted to come up with a playlist. Every every time we do a podcast, okay. just a playlist of like eight songs. So it'll be like two local joints and then two joints that ain't local. All right. So that way, cause I want us to continue to give shine to artists that from out of our city. I ain't gonna lie, I don't even I, all I listen to is local music right now. For real? Like, I swear. I like, mean, like, mind you, I'm that way, but I, a lot of people be looking at me crazy. They be like, that's all you listen to? I be like, yo, it's bro. so many dope artists that come out of our city right now. With I'm so many. I bought some more bag, bro. I swear. Mm. It's like, I ain't gonna lie, because, like, bro, like, just even with the meetings of Omar and, like, Stokey had, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it could have been more to it, but at the same time, it's like, it's just, it just feel like, bro, like, I'm trying to get one of these niggas popping, because, you know what I'm saying? Of course I want my shine, but I just feel like, if I can get one, then it's gonna be 
a thousand. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to be real. Like, I'm in my Baltimore bag. Like, I'm trying to get niggas to win. Yeah, like, I, I need agree. niggas to win. I agree. Like, not only have I always felt that way, and, and I've got the albums that I paid for to prove it, like... I'm just so proud of the great quality music that's out now. Like, yo, when you just posted the CZ Baby joint, yo, mm-hmm. that shit was crazy, bro. Like, I'm proud. Like, you watch that. Not only does she kill it, but she got the showmanship. She's got mm-hmm. the lyricism. And then if you go to listen to her records, yo, her record, what of the single that she got out right now, like, mm-hmm. yo, that shit is fucking phenomenal, bro. Nah, nah, nah you're right. I mean, so if I'm gonna if I'm gonna throw my first name in the joint. You I'm gonna go CZ? with CZ Baby. What is it called? Harder than what is it? Harder than all of y'all, or yeah, harder yeah. than Baltimore, or harder than I think it's harder than all y'all, like <laughs> something like that. Um, all right, that's my but, first one. My second one is Shorty Shorty. What's up, bitch? You a dog? Yeah, 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 that shit hard, nigga. Yeah. You can't deny it. Oh uh, shit. Nice. Uh, and I'm gonna say like my two. I was thinking two national joints, the two bigger records. Uh, you know, I don't even, I can't even think of them off the top of my head, but like, um, but those are my two local joints, and I'll post my other two joints when I post the playlist. But did you have two that you want to throw yeah. up there? The nigga stars, bro. I just watched this nigga put in so much, mm, bro. Yeah, some quality I'm, of music. I'm bro. perplexed about his album, y'all. Hopefully, me and you might have to do a review of it. I listened to the whole thing when he sent it to me. I listened to it the day it came you out, like it, or, and yeah, I'm perplexed. Like I don't know how I feel. Like, I don't like, know what the fuck that mean. Like, per, I mean, in that, I, I'm, let me I, look this shit up. Nigga. It's perplexed. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's a, I'm, all right. I'm gonna let a nigga know when I don't know something. I don't like the thing is I can't say no. Nah, I hate it because it's whack. Because the production is dope, the mix is crazy. Of course, he's got crazy lyrics. It's just that I think you just I don't know honestly, if I like it. I feel like Stars is like nigga. I know niggas gonna kill me for this, but he my dog, so he know I don't mean nothing about it. Good. I feel like Stars is like Bow Wow. And when I mean, when I mean, listen, let me, let me fit, look, look, niggas are going to chop that up. I'm not going to let you do my niggas dog gonna, stars niggas, that way. Niggas are going to chop it up. Niggas are going to chop it up. And then that's all niggas going to hear is like, Yo. Jake said stars like, bow. <laughs> what I mean by that is, I feel like niggas can't get the image out of, like, so we all know bow out. Of him good. fucking bitches right, so, in, the, in the TV right, so show? Anything, so anything else you rap about is like, we don't believe it type shit. We only see... The TV show and okay. the Pretty Boy, you know what I'm saying? So it's like that's what I think. It's like Bow Wow, like he was a he started very young, right? So when he started rapping about grown Adult up shit, shit we ain't taking serious because we still seen Lil Bow Wow. Okay, you yeah. know what I'm saying that's what I'm trying to say. So I feel like as long as you got that image in your head, it you wanna like you wanna listen to the music differently. But once you really get to know the dude, you know what I'm saying, and the work that he's putting in, I just feel like I honestly think the album was. I've never heard nobody in Baltimore produce a, a better album. Well, <sighs> honestly, just number one. Let me let me say I've been a Stars supporter from from a long time ago, okay. and I really feel like he's produced some of the best albums that ever come out of this region. Period. I've said that on record multiple times, and I'm gonna say it on this big platform because of him. Now. This album ain't it for me. Damn. This ain't, he's I, dropped some. He's had three classics, three straight, straight up classics. But is this on that? I don't. I, and that's what I'm saying. I don't know. Bro, I'm gonna go back know. and listen to no, it again, bro. And I want us to go. Hey, yo, me and you will go track for track. We'll, bro, we'll have a he conversation got, about. He got three different fucking. Yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? Like the love. I know, the, bro. That's what stars do though. St- stars give you great conceptualized shit. He can put it all together. And he's a yo, he's one of the best marketers to come out of this region, period. Has like done. he he is fucking the man when it comes out of that shit. Done, I don't give a fuck. Y'all corn ass niggas be mad at this motherfucker. Yo, y'all need to stop being mad at this nigga stars and hire that nigga to come help y'all. Cause most of y'all niggas don't know what the fuck you doing. But hold up, hold up, man. Cause like let's not go too far. That's my dog. I love him and he know that. However, he does have a, a um engine behind him. Cause you, we don't know. It don't matter. Even but, when he didn't have no, no, engines no, behind I don't him, take, he was always better. He I don't was dope with the rollout. I feel like he always had engines behind him. And I don't want to take away. I just, I'm just, I don't want to take away from stars, but I don't want to take away from the other guys either. That's all I'm saying. Like stars' ideas is dope as fuck. However, if he didn't have the money behind him, he probably wouldn't be able to produce okay. this shit. What, what difference? All right, if you didn't have them, all right. Besides being able to do the 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 the, the event, the release event. That he did the videos he doing that shit is money. Okay, the videos is crazy. Let's let's throw the videos out. Every time he does a release party, whether he had big money or little money, it was always some fly ass shit. Always, I remember he did one at the little spot around the corner yeah. from Ch- on Charles uh-huh. Street, yep. little ass spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was fly as fuck. Yeah, it was, it was. Cause you know why? Stars knows the essentials that you need to make niggas come out. That's a bad fact. bitches. Uh huh. Some goddamn drink. Mm hmm. 
And some dope ass music, marketing, marketing. And, and, and some great graphics. Like he knows how to pull shit together, bro. Definitely. Like whether you got a budget or no budget, he know how to do it. Marketing wise, he is. That's the only fuck. thing I'm saying. Okay, fair. Marketing. All right, fair, off, fair. Just off the market. I'm talking about. I'm and, talking about getting it done type shit. And, marketing wise, he is. Damn. Uh, uh, go ahead, go ahead, Blue go ahead. won't hate me for this. Blue won't hate me. Same engine, blue rollout. Facts. Damn. Damn. You right. That's why I said marketing wise, he is dope. I love you, Blue. Nah, Blue is my nigga. You my nigga, Blue. But you I'm my nigga. nigga. If you ask me, and his album was, and Blue's album was better than Stars. That's funny because I would say, hands down. I would say that ain't it. I would say Stars album you is better than Blue. You fucking out your. <laughs> nigga, you fucking out your. He had Yo, a bunch of and I'm mad because everybody wanted to hate on the album because he was singing, and it was my idea for this nigga to sing. I, I'm, I'm one of them haters. I'm one of them haters. <laughs> Fuck I want to hear Blue rap. Yo, the, the, he did rap, but he sang too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause guess what? Who was streaming the album the most? I, I swear to God, yo, y'all blue, y'all need to release them numbers, yo. His streaming numbers is up for all the R and B shit. Nah, I believe it. Because believe bitches it. is not, on not, it. That's I was talking to. His, he gave y'all rap niggas ten years of him rap. I was talking. I was talking to his management, and they was saying that niggas love the singing. And it, it says it in the numbers, so it's like, yeah, you know what I'm saying. But I, I just love him rapping. Like Blue is talented as shit. Like so, I'm trying. I didn't have. I'm like, Blue, we need to have an interview because I want to tell you personally that I want you to rap. I ain't trying to hit it. And he, he did but, an interview with me and I told him, I want you to sing. Yeah. And thank you for, for, for putting nah, that nah, up. Nah, I fuck with him, though. Like I said, bro, I'm pro buzz, man. I'm fucking with... Yo, I'm I fucking told with Blue, the city. Last time I saw him, fuck Baltimore niggas. Go flow ride out this motherfucker. Sell 10 million units. That's sit fair. on the hill with your mods and, and the bad bitches. Man, fuck these niggas, man. Fuck this nigga, man. Get your mind, <laughs> I'm, a, man. I'm a blue fan, nigga. Fuck out of here. I'm a blue fan. Talk niggas, I'm a blue fan, And man. I just swear, I swear to God, y'all niggas got too much because they feel like Blue got like put in an easy track. Like, no, yo. Blue is in such a complicated position. Situation. You know what I'm saying? I don't, and, like, know, what, I don't know. What does Blue need to go over the top? What the fuck is going on? Because he got every... He got everything that a nigga need. I don't know. Yeah, it I just... couldn't even tell you, bro. Like I couldn't even tell. You. And when I asked him, he gave me the most vague answers of all time. <laughs> I'm wishing the best for you, dog. But uh, yeah, I definitely honestly because like he's. I don't know nobody that's putting in more work than this nigga. For real, <laughs> this nigga is and working. Doing songs with everybody. Everybody traveling around everywhere. Radio stations galore. Like that nigga is working, boy. I don't know. But dude. at the same time, like I said, going back to the marketing part. Like if he had, if they yeah, had taken the same approach that Stars took, yeah, to just the concepts and the mm. album artwork. Yo, when we went to the release party, they had bottles of pills, nigga. That Bro, shit that's, was that's, dope. That's, that was that's, dope that's, as fuck. Hold up, man. That's, they should have had just, me host. I just be trying not lit. to. I just be trying not to. I be trying not to. Um, just I be wanting to give everybody love. All right. You gotta shout out the team, cause I don't even think that was his idea. No, 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 no. I feel like, like the team is definitely. Fly. You know what I'm saying? Like I just like I'm saying. But however, like I said, I'm not trying to take away from his market in mind. You right, know what right, I'm saying? Right, so right. it's like, no, I mean, but that's it. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. so he trying to secure that bag. Nah, nah. nah you we ain't gonna, the listen, we ain't shout gonna, out to the team. We ain't gonna cut we ain't, the check. We ain't gonna uh, talk about behind the scenes because stars know. Like he be nah, cause stars gave me some ideas. Oh yeah? yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Okay, all right. Well, shout out to Stars for giving you some ideas. Now, if you can implement them, motherfuckers, that should be hard as a motherfucker. <laughs> now, I'm telling you, Jay Hill, all about the look, baby. So, like, all I, we all know look. he's gonna be, he gonna be crafty. I'm That's how I'm like, I don't look. know how this relationship gonna work. Look at me, I'm crusty <laughs> looking right now. I'm gonna tell you right this now, this nigga is mad fly, I'm and I'm fly. crusty. I'm gonna tell you right now, we gonna get like three cameras in this motherfucker because this one camera ain't gonna work. This camera is the, this camera has gotten me it's over cool, half but, million fucking views. But we're not gonna do one. We need more than one angle, bro. Okay, whatever. We know we gotta get the J Hill close. No, up, no, we, we need the whole. You know what I'm saying? The whole demonstration. But we'll I, make mean, it I ain't. I gotta get I ain't out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We appreciate y'all. Please drop a comment in the, in the comment section, yo. And I got a question I don't know for y'all. We dropping it at. We gonna drop it on YouTube, nigga. I'm saying which one though? My YouTube channel, nigga. Cause I gotta edit the fuck out this bitch. That's fair. <laughs> I yeah. mean, if you wanna edit it, you nah, can. No, 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 that's fair. I mean, you don't have to do too much editing. You got one camera, nigga. I'm. But I got, audio I'm, on this yeah, I'm doing all types of shit, nigga. Like, all right, fuck see, that's how I know you want watching Aries Lounge. See, like they say they love you, but they don't know. They don't love you. <laughs> if you had seen three old niggas talking about some old nigga shit, you motherfucking right. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucking right. I don't care about that. Shit. <laughs> yeah, that's how I know you want watching. It was three old niggas We talking about new nigga shit So anyway We out of this motherfucker Don't forget Drop a comment Tell us how you feel or You know what I mean Whatever The other thing is Also uh, Yo give us suggestions On the name of the podcast Yeah Nah nah Don't give us no suggestions Don't, don't give us care. no suggestions We ain't listening to that shit <laughs> He's such a dickhead I'm dude. not a dickhead I'm just saying uh, yo. 
Give me the. I want to hear y'all suggestions. Because we're gonna use one of the suggestions, and next thing you know, we getting sued. Like I need my, I need my credit if this shit blow up type shit. Like I'm gonna give him credit. <laughs> like, I'm not giving you a check. I'm gonna <laughs> give you credit. Like you know what I mean. Shout out to you. Hey, if you know, hey, if you gonna give me a suggestion, try and get a check, then you can kiss my black ass. But anyway, we love y'all. We check y'all out next week, man. You know what I'm saying? J and J, J and J podcast. We about this bitch. Peace. Gang, gang. Uh,